today. We hope. The first part is the section 1.1 we didn't learn last class. And this is just simply, have you ever had trouble converting units from one kind of unit to another? Sure. This is the world's best way. <laughs> I like, why did somebody not tell me this year ago? How to know how to convert units and never get it wrong. Well, I won't say no, almost never, unless you're asleep or something and not thinking. So let me give you an example here. I want to take 90 kilometers per hour, and I want to convert it into meters per minute. And so first of all, you're probably going, well, kilometers to meters, do we know, do we know how many meters are in a kilometer? Nope. A thousand, thank you. Kilo means a thousand. Okay, and we know how many minutes are in an hour, right? Okay. But, but have you, I remember as a kid always debating about, okay, should I multiply by a thousand or should I divide by a thousand? How do I know which way it is to make this conversion? Well, there's a way to always know when you work with units. You do it, well actually let me take you back a moment to elementary math. If I said take two thirds times nine eighths, what are you allowed to do when you multiply fractions? Cross cancel. Cross cancel. We know we can cancel three into nine and two into eight. It works. Okay, so you can do the same thing with units. You can make your units cancel. So what we do, if you want to get rid of kilometers, do it one at a time. I'm going to deal with the kilometers. If I want to get rid of kilometers, would I need them on the top or the bottom in order to get them to cancel? Because they're clear, currently on the top, so I would want them on the bottom so they would cancel. And I'm trying to change kilometers into what? Meters. So I'm going to put meters on top. Okay, now fill in what you know the relationship between meters and kilometers is. One meter is 2,000 kilometers. And so then the kilometers are going to cancel, and that's telling me I'm going to divide by a thousand because the thousand's on the bottom. Then go do the same thing. This time I want to get rid of hours. Hours are starting out on the bottom, so where should I put them? If I want them to cancel, I should put them on the top. What am I changing hours into? I want this to go to minutes. And and minutes are supposed to end up on the bottom. Okay, so now, what's the relationship between hours and minutes? One hour is 60 minutes. And so my hours have now canceled. Okay, the conversion is done. What units are left? We got, we got, we've got meters over minutes left, which is what we wanted. And then you just need multiply all the numbers on the top, multiply all the numbers on the bottom. You have 90 over 6,000, and I need to get that reduced. How, how do I get that reduced? Yes, put it in your calculator. Okay, thank you. Take 3 over 200, and you're down to 60 minutes. And you've just converted units and never had any doubts about should I divide by the 60, should I multiply by the 60. If you make the units cancel, they're in the right position and it all comes out beautifully. No. Yeah. In chemistry and physics, you use this a lot in order because you're always converting units. Or you get crazy. It's, so it's, it can be very helpful. Let us try one more to make sure you've got it. Okay, I want 60 miles per hour, and I want, oh yeah, do you guys actually know? 60 miles per hour. How many feet per second is that? How many feet, how fast are you moving in feet per second if you're going 60 miles per hour? Well, we're going to find out, huh? Okay, so 60 miles per hour. 
what fraction, what do you want? Do you want to get rid of miles first or hours first? Your pick. Miles? So, okay, if I'm getting rid of miles, where am I putting them? Bottom. Miles are going to the bottom, so they cancel, and they're changing into what? Feet. And then... Uh, Woo! Yeah! 5,280 feet in a mile. It's such a lovely number. And then, so that makes my miles are now canceled. Okay, what else do I need? I want it to get it into feet hours. per second. Hours. hours. So where am I going to put hours? Uh, hours are going to, looks like you can cancel that. Yeah, sorry. Hours are going to the top. Yeah. And think about this one. How many seconds in an hour? Where do you get 3,600? You're right. <laughs> 60, I'm saying it says 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. So yes, there are 3,600 seconds in an hour. And then our hours cancel. And we can see that the only units we have left are feet over seconds. It's just we need to crunch the numbers. So multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. 31,680? Okay. Over 3,600. Over 3,600. And you should miraculously find, it turns out to a very nice little number. 6788 feet per second. So if you are driving at miles per hour, you are passing through 88 feet every second. Then things it that's over. Ta-da! Woo! Woo I'm killing that.